It's billed as a plan that would help thousands of Michigan families. Today, Governor Whitmer announced a plan to increase the number of Michigan workers who would be eligible for overtime pay. Larry Sproul shows us how it would work. There you go, right into those kettlebell swings. Make it happen. It's the newest and hottest fitness spot in downtown Detroit. Just 90 days in, the name describes it to the T. Vibe, ride, Easy, right? Detroit. It is a health and wellness um, studio. It's about fitness group classes, and all we do is service cycling and body classes to the community. Round four. A community Vibe Ride Detroit owner Latricia Wilder believes in, born in, and lives in. I'm a kid from the inner city of Detroit. If people didn't give back and feed into my life, I wouldn't be here. That's one of the main reasons she started her business. She wants to give back, so she hires people from the city. Front desk staff is about 10, 11, and then I have my coaching staff, which is another 15. Thursday, Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced a new proposal to expand the right to overtime pay to more Michigan workers, allowing businesses like Vibe Ride Detroit to pay their workers more. Right now, there are too many Michiganders who work more than 40 hours a week without any guaranteed overtime pay. Now, this proposal will extend overtime pay rights to workers making up to $35,500. This is a critical step in lifting Michigan families out of poverty and into the middle class. Wilder tells me this is something she can vibe with. I think it's a good thing. I mean, I'm a small business owner, and there are definitely challenges with having a small business, but people need to be able to live. And so the next step is to officially submit the proposal and then if and when it's approved, that entire process could take about six to 12 months. We have the entire document on our website, clickondetroit.com. We're live on the Detroit Eastside side tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.